In the shadows of Mordor, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the One Ring to enslave all elves, dwarves, and men of Middle-earth. The free people of Middle-earth overthrew Sauron, but lost the ring. Now the enemy has returned, and from his dark tower in Mordor, he seeks his ring. We must find the ring first, and destroy it. But who can bear to carry the ring? The weak would be corrupted. Precious. <laughs> Powerful would become as great a threat as Sauron. But who can bear the ring? Welcome back, Gandalf. Will we have fireworks, elvish lessons, tales of ancient Numenor? Today, we must talk about a shadow of the past. The ring you inherited may be very dangerous. Uncle Bilbo's magic ring? Magic rings, as you call them, were made by elves. But this ring, I think, was made by another. Give me the ring. No! Look closely. I see fine lines, lines of fire, in a flowing script. What does it say? One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. This is the one ring to rule them all. The ancient kings of elves, dwarves, and men use the rings of power to rule their lands. The Dark Lord Sauron created this ring to rule all the others. When he fell in battle, he lost it. A strange creature called Gollum found the ring and was corrupted by it. Bilbo won it from Gollum, and now it is yours. But the Lord of the Rings has returned, and all his thought is bent on finding the ring. Let's destroy it! It can only be destroyed when it was forged, in Mount Doom. The Fire Mountain in Mordor. Take it there. Take it. No, do not tempt me. If I bore the ring, I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Then... then I must guard the ring. And I will help you bear this burden, as long as it is yours to bear. I'm a danger to the Shire. I must leave. I could set out on the road just like Bilbo. My dear Frodo, Hobbits really are amazing creatures. But you need not go alone, if there are any you can trust. But take care. The enemy has many spies. Uh. Well then, Samwise Gamgee, isn't it? Uh, don't hurt me! What are you doing at Bag End? Nothing, sir. Uh, trimming the grass under the window. Oh? The sound of shears stopped some time ago. How long have you been eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? Uh, there ain't no eaves at Bag End. Don't be a fool. What have you heard? Uh, oh, Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. He won't hurt you. Just answer his question. Well, I heard a lot I didn't understand about lords and rings in the fiery mountain. And elves, sir. I had to listen. I dearly love to see elves. Keep it a secret, Sam. Or I hope Gandalf turns you into a spotted toad. I've thought of something better. He will go away with you, Frodo. Me, sir? Go and see elves and all? <laughs> Hooray! But where should we go? Towards danger. But not too rashly, nor too straight. And you mustn't vanish. Take time to settle your affairs before you leave. I could leave in autumn, on my birthday. Very well, but no later. Make for Rivendell in the east, and seek the counsel of Elrond Half-Elven. East? I'll tell everyone I'm buying a house in Crick Hollow near my relatives in Buckland. I'll have to sell Bag End. 
The Sackville Bagginses have been trying to take over this place for years. A shame to let them have it. Indeed. And now I must go. I have much to attend to. As do I. See that Samwise Gamgee does not talk, or I will turn him into a spotted toad. You can trust Sam. Oh, yes! Not a word from Sam Gamgee, and that's for certain! Once you leave, travel as Mr. Underhill. The name of Baggins is not safe outside the Shire. And do not use the ring, for it can corrupt the most innocent heart. I understand. Farewell, Gandalf. <laughs> elves! <laughs> I'm going to see elves! Farewell, Frodo. I'll return by your birthday. But Gandalf did not come back, and as the nights grew longer, I decided I might have to leave without him. On the morning of my birthday, September 22nd, I set out for one final stroll around the Shire. I had to say farewell to my neighbours and sell my home to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. One ring is in this chest. I'd best leave it here until I sell Bag End. to you, Mr. Frodo. Good morning, Sam. All ready to set out for Buckland? All ready? Or will be as soon as I tend to Bag End. Lobelia Sackville Baggins is buying the place. You don't need to weed Bag End ever again. I'd like to weed them Sackville Bagginses out of Bag End, if you get my meaning. No, I've got to weed that garden one last time, Frodo. Say my goodbyes to it. Set it to rights before Lotho and Lobelia ruin it. Bag End has the best garden in the Shire, thanks to your work. Uh -huh. No, I'm sure there are many finer. Oh, Mary Brandybuck said he was meeting Pippin Took at the Green Dragon and invited you to join. They took a long walk out here just for a drink. I wonder what mischief they're up to. Begging your pardon, sir, but there's little mischief to be found in the Green Dragon. The Keeper won't stand for it. We will see. Thank you. 
Sandyman's Mill. It looks a lot more cheerful than Ted Sandyman. Hello, Ted. I wanted to say goodbye before I... Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, no. You seem to be just standing about. Well, if you knew about mills, you'd know I'm trying to locate a very important metal pin that must have fallen out of my mill wheel. Is that why the mill isn't working? Oh, never you mind about working or not working. I've sent Mugwort to Bree for a replacement. I'll let you know if I see it. What does it look like? <laughs> if I haven't found it yet, there's no way you can find it. But, uh... It looks like a plain metal pin. <clears throat> now, good day to you. Hello there, Hal. Oh, hello, Frodo. You have a beautiful day to begin your trip to Crick Hollow. Yes, indeed. I'm too old for such long walks. I can't even climb high enough to fix my weather vane. What's wrong with it? The thing's stuck. Sorry to hear it. That rascal Sancho Proudfoot was throwing sticks at it. Now it won't turn at all. I'll take a look at it before I leave. Well, that'd be fine with me. The ladder's right over there. Weathervane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. If you don't mind, I'll just take that metal pin that was jamming the weather vane. Eh? Of course. Take it. Thank you. Why would you want such a thing? It might help Sandyman fix the mill. My, you're a boon to all the Shire. Just trying to help. Good day, Hal. The mill wheel spins again, thanks to Frodo Baggins, of all people. You've done me a valuable service today, Baggins. Why, thank you, Ted. Good day. Number three, Bagshot Row, home of the Ganges. Will Sam miss it as much as I'll miss Bag End? Hello, Milo. Hello, Frodo. Seen any elves lately? I'm afraid not, I'm sorry to say. What about trolls? No trolls either. Good. It's about time you found your hobbit sense again. You know, some say you're as mad as your uncle. 
carrying on with that old wizard and all. I see. Well, at least they have something interesting to talk about then. Good day. Bridge to Bywater, the same path Bilbo took when he began his adventure long ago. Frodo? Hello, Angelica. We shall miss you terribly, Frodo. Indeed. You're going ever such a long way away. Practically to the other end of the world. Just the other end of the Shire. It's so far to travel. I hope you can return to Hobbiton one day. So do I. Goodbye, Frodo. Goodbye, Angelica. Frodo, have time to enjoy a mug with me? Hello, Sheriff. Just saying goodbye. Off on adventures? What? Adventures? I don't have adventures. Why not? All the great dragons in hiding from the fearsome bagginses. <laughs> don't worry, Frodo. It's just my little joke. Everyone knows you're a respectable hobbit. Unlike your Uncle Bilbo, bless him. Of course. Well, goodbye, Robin. Hello there, Master Gamgee. Well, hello, young Frodo. I hope my boy Sam does well tending your garden out there in Crick Hollow. Or well, if he slackens, you be sure to send word to me. Your son's a very good worker, Master Gamgee. He's not but a ninny hammer. But you're kindly to take the lad with you. Do be careful out there on the road. I've heard tell of strange doings. Hungry wolves have been seen in the South Farthing. Or so I heard from Hugo Bracegiddle at the Ivy Bush Inn. Wolves? In the Shire? Well, that's what I says to him. Wolves? In the Shire? My old dad told me those tales when I was but a lad. I never thought I'd see such times. I hope the wolves will leave as quickly as they came. Goodbye, Master Gamgee. Hello, Frodo. What took you so long? Did that sluggard Sam Gamgee forget to tell you that we'd be here? Never mind Sam. What brings you two scoundrels all the way to Bywater? Breakfast, though. No. We're up to lunch now. Pull up a chair. You came all this way just for breakfast? Can't tell. It's a conspiracy. Don't tell him. Oh, too late. Our conspiracy is unmasked. May as well tell him everything now. Since you'll be walking past old Maggot's farm, we thought we'd ever go at his garden again. Three is company. Just like old times. Remember those mushrooms? I remember his ferocious dogs. I believe Frodo's afraid. Are you afraid, Pippin? I'm never afraid, Mary. Those dogs are all bark. <laughs> no bite. Old Maggot threatened to show me their bite. Only because he caught you. Well, just be careful this time. Remember the smell of those mushrooms cooking? I do love mushrooms. Then it's settled. We'll meet you at Maggot's farm. Hello there, Rosie. And hello to you, Frodo Baggins. I wish you fair weather for your journey. Um, where's Samwise? I'll catch up with him before I set out. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Well, perhaps you can teach that Samwise some manners. What's he done? Nothing I've caught him at, but he's likely one of those pranksters that have been ringing the Bywater warning bell with stones. If we ever need to ring the bell, Sheriff Robin may ignore it, thinking it's a child's prank. I'm sure Sam would never do that. Perhaps. 
Well, return as often as you can. Hello, young Baggins. Cheers on your birthday. Thank you kindly, Daddy Twofoot. I haven't seen your wizard friend about lately. I do miss those fireworks. So do I. I remember the day when all those dwarves came to call on Mr. Bilbo. Dwarves and a wizard. Life is quieter now. I don't know about quieter. You hear such strange stories these days. Long dead bearer whites waking near the old forest. Great armies in the east and south. Dwarves and big people fleeing. Elves traveling west and never coming back. Ah, but I'm chattering on. Safe travel to you. I hope you have more hobbit sense than Bilbo, dear Frodo. I'll miss the next farmer's market. This square will be brimming over with the freshest crops. Hello, Lobelia. Where's the sheriff? Where's that lazy Robin Smallborough? I couldn't say. Now about Bag End. Never you mind all that. There are wolves in the Shire. I'm sure the sheriff is keeping everyone safe. How could he? I haven't told him about the wolves yet. Go away, Frodo. I need the sheriff. Just ring the warning bell. If he's anywhere in Bywater, he'll come running. Don't just hang about then. Ring the warning bell. There. I've rung the warning bell. Now what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. I rang the bell. Lobelia wants you to know there are wolves in the Shire. Oh, is that all? I've heard that rumor, but I reckon no one's seen these wolves. Not even Lobelia. Oh. If any wolves approach the Shire, the Bounders will chase them off. Just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. Someone finally came to his senses and rang that bell. Now we'll have safety and order in the Shire. I do hope so. Now then, what did you want to speak to me about? Make it snappy, I have a lot of things to tend to. It's about Bag End. You said you wanted to buy it. What? But I thought you were lying, you deceitful boy. I believe that when I have the deed in my hand. Did you bring it? Here's the deed to Bag End. Oh, I can scarcely believe it. The deed to Bag End? I shall need to remove a few belongings. I'll leave the Bag End key with Master Gamgee of Number 3 Bagshot Row, if you don't mind. What? Gamgee? That dirty potato grubber and his son might plunder all of Bag End in the dead of night. Good day, Lobelia. Yes, yes, a very good day indeed. My sweet little Lothar will be so happy. Bag End at last. Oh. Why you consort with that kind, I'll never know, Frodo. Having farmers and dwarves and wizards for company, and never inviting your own flesh and blood to tea, honestly. Will I see another springtime festival around this maypole?
I think it's time for me, and the ring, to leave Hobbiton and begin this journey. A rider, all in black. No, Mr. Bagant has gone away. Left this morning. <laughs> Why did Bagant go? Why is none of my business, or yours? Where did Bagant go? Well, that's no secret. He's walking to Buckleberry or some such place. Is this place far from here? Yes, quite a ways down the East Road. Never been so far myself. They're a strange lot in Buckland. Can you send a message? No, I can't give no message. Now, good night to you. Evening, Master Gamgee. Good evening to you, Frodo. A peculiar rider came asking after you. I don't wish to make his acquaintance. Nor me. Sent shivers up my back just to hear his hollow voice. Where's Sam? He was waiting for you. But that dreaded Pippin Took came to collect him. Said they would meet you at Maggot's Farm. There's something about a shortcut. What are they up to? They didn't say. But Pippin seemed quite pleased with himself. And Sam was none too happy about it. He'd better not be up to mischief. Well... Here's the bag end key for Lobelia. I guess I'll meet Sam at Maggot's farm. Good evening, Master Gamgee.
Hold on, Robin. Frodo, look out! Frodo, I am in your debt. If you have whipped, it's an ill omen. That I'd better get going. What? Oh, <laughs> right you are, Frodo. And I should get back on patrol. Yes, but yes, I have to go, Robin. Another Dark Rider. I must stay hidden. There he is, the old sluggard. What kept you, cousin? Stopped by the Green Dragon on your way out? Never mind why, but I can't stay. I have to leave right now for Crick Hollow. You mean Rivendell, and we're coming with you. You thought you were so clever, but our conspiracy outsmarted you. We know all about the Ring and the Dark Lord, so we're going to protect you. But how did you know? How could we not know with you muttering Will I ever see that valley again? You really have the Sackville Bagginses to thank. I was practicing sneaking up on Bilbo one day when he heard Lotho calling after him. Bilbo put on the ring and vanished. We kept our eyes open after that. We spied on you and Gandalf. How? Well, through our chief conspirator. Until he got caught. And Gandalf did say, take those as you can trust. It seems I can't trust anyone. You can trust us to stick with you to the bitter end. We've kept your secret better than you did. But you can't trust us to let you face danger alone. Even though we're horribly afraid, we're coming with you. Or oh, following after like hounds. Dogs! No, Sam. Hounds. Maggots! Dogs! They're coming! Rip! Fang! Wolf! Come on, lads! And old maggot, too, by the sound of it. So much for stealing some mushrooms before we go. 
What's all this chatter at this hour of the night? Speak up! Good evening, Mr. Maggot. Well, if it isn't Peregrine Took. You're lucky I know you. I was about to set my dogs loose. The most outlandish fellow rode through here, asking strange questions. Here, who's that with you, Pippin? You remember Mariaduck Brandybuck. Allow me to introduce Samwise Gamgee and... Frodo Baggins! Uh, good to see you again, sir. Baggins. Now, isn't that strangest of all? What do you think that stranger was asking about? He came riding up on a black horse in black cloak and hood, and he asked for Baggins. Oh, that would be a different Baggins. I told him all the Bagginses are in Hobbiton. He says Baggins is heading east on foot, and now Frodo Baggins shows up on my farm. The same Frodo Baggins who was one of the worst young rascals around, I might add. <laughs> Frodo's... Much better behave these days. Where are you headed? To my new home in Crick Hollow. I can see you're in trouble, Frodo. You should never have gotten mixed up with those strange Hobbiton folk. I wager that Outlander has come for the gold Bilbo brought back from foreign parts. Well, I think it's time we were going. No, he'll be waiting. You ride out in my wagon, hidden from sight. Thank you, sir. It's a pity I've been in terror of your dogs. I've missed a good friend. Indeed! Shall we go now? I'll ready the wagon. Farmer Maggot's wagon carried us safely away from his farm and into the borders of Buckland. But the Black Rider was still thundering along the East Road. We decided to go south and cut through the Old Forest. Mary had been in the Old Forest and knew a little of its ways. It's a dark, mysterious place, but not as dangerous as a Black Rider. Hello? Merry? Pippin? Sam? Where are you? Oi! Frodo! We're over here! And lost by the looks of it, these trees have a mind of their own! Stay where you are! I'll find you! It's as if it had a mind of its own. We're over here!
I never thought potatoes could smell so good. A good meal will definitely ease my mind about this place. But where is this place? Very close to the Withy Window Valley. But we shouldn't get any closer. Why not? The Withy Window Valley is said to be the strangest part of the whole forest. In the center from which all the strangeness comes, as it were. Can you lead us around the valley, Mary? I thought I could, but the way these trees shift about, I don't know, it's, it's like they're leading us there. Mary thought he knew his way around this forest, but how can anyone find their way when the forest won't stand still? Do you know one of those trees stuck a branch out at me? Nearly tripped me, it did. I'm sorry I led us into such a dangerous place, but at least we've shaken off that black rider. Flies. Oh, I don't like this tree. I don't trust it. Hear it singing about sleep? That's not right. It's not right at all. We can't sleep yet. We must get clear of this place. There, little fellows. Where be you a going to, eh? Puffing like a bellows. What's the matter then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. Old man Willow? I know the rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow cold if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man Willow. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil is talking! Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very much. Well, my little fellows, you shall come to the house of Tom Bombadil. Where? Time enough for questions around the supper table. Come now, and help Tom find lilies for fair Lady Goldberry. After that, we shall sit down to a table laden with cream, honeycomb, and white bread and butter. What are we waiting for? The sooner we find lilies, the sooner we can eat!
fair lilies for the fair river daughter. Come, let us go to meet her. Come, dear folk, laugh and be merry. I am Goldberry, daughter of the river. Here's my Goldberry. You are still afraid, perhaps, of mist and tree shadows. Fear nothing, for tonight you are under the roof of Tom Bombadil. Who are you? Eh, what? Don't you know my name? It's the only answer. For who are you without your name? But you are young and I am old. Eldest, that's what I am. Tom was here before the river and the trees. Tom remembers the first raindrop, the first big people, and the first little people. He was here before kings and barrel whites, before the elves passed westward, and before the seas were bent, before the Dark Lord came from outside. His precious ring has no power over Tom Bombadil. And now, merry friends, it is time for our supper. We ate our first good meal in a long time, singing songs and telling tales until late in the night. We slept peacefully and were refreshed enough to continue our journey. Keep to the green grass as you go, lads. Don't go meddling with old stone or prying into the houses of old dead Barrowites. Here's a song to sing should you fall into any danger. Oh, come bombadil, come bombadil, oh, by water, wood and hill, by the reed and willow, by fire, sun and moon. Hearken now and hear us, come Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Thank you, Tom Bombadil. Speed now, fair guests. North with the wind in the left eye and a blessing on your footsteps. Make haste while the sun shines. Farewell, friends. It was a merry meeting.
the Barrow Downs. Even Tom is cautious about this place. We are not far from the main road by my reckoning. Splendid. If we keep this pace, we'll leave the Barrow Downs by sunset tomorrow. Not soon enough for my liking. I don't trust what's hiding in the fog on the Barrow Downs. <laughs> you don't believe stories about old dead Barrow Whites. Not until today, but Tom said otherwise. Tom is the only one not affected by the ring. I wonder why. He was here before the Dark Lord came from outside. Outside what, I wonder? And whatever did he mean by eldest? And why didn't he serve bacon? Or cutlets? Or sausages? I don't like spending the night among these burial stones. They look like giant teeth coming up from the ground. If half the stories I've heard about the Barrow Downs are true, we'll need to keep a careful watch. Enough storytelling. Let's get to sleep. Sam? Mary? Pippin? Where are you? Where could they be? Sam? Mary? Anyone? Where are you? The fog here is quite thick indeed.
Sam, I've got to set them free. Get them out of here. It'll take a special weapon to stop this thing. If anything can. Listen to Tom. Wait, perhaps Tom is near. Oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, oh, by water, wood, and hill, by the reed and the willow, by fire, sun, and moon. Hearken now and hear us. Come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Well, little friends, old Tom has answered your call. Get out, old white, vanish in the sunlight. Shrivel like the cold mist till the world is mended. Out into the barren lands far beyond the mountains. Come never here again. Leave your barrow empty, lost and forgotten. Be darker than the darkness, where gates stand forever shut till the world is mended. Thank you, Tom. The spell on this barrow lies broken, and no white shall ever come back to it. I've scattered the barrow's treasures. They're free to all finders. Old Tom has taken a pretty toy for his lady, and here are some fine blades for young hobbits who go walking into dark and danger. It's perfectly clean, untouched by time. Yes, thank you again. They were forged long ago by the men of Westerness across the sea in ancient Numenor. They cast spells on their blades for the bane of the Dark Lord. Their kings of Numenor are forgotten now, but their sons wander in loneliness, guarding simple folk from wicked things. I wonder if this blade can hurt one of the Black Riders. Old Tom shall see you safe over the borders of his land. From there you should travel to Bree, a fair village. Stay the night at the Prancing Pony Inn. Fair advice. Lead the way. Ready to follow Tom, then? Indeed. The further we are from the Barrows, the better. Let us speed on our way! We left the cold stone fields of the Barrow Downs and arrived at the hillside village of Bree, home to both hobbits and big folk. We said goodbye to Tom and entered Bree, seeking a warm fire and a door between us and the night. At last we found a cheerful inn with the sign of the Prancing Pony. We surely aren't staying in this inn, are we? Why not? Tom recommended it. I thought we might see about staying with some of the Bree Hobbits. It'd be more home-like. Oh, Sam. This is as good as an inn back home. Just a lot larger. The larger the inn, the larger the meals. Don't worry, Sam. This will be fine. Maybe Sam can find a tater patch to sleep in. I'll make arrangements with the innkeeper while you three find something to eat. And remember, from now on, my name is Mr. Underhill. Right. Come on, Sam. Pippin. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Underhill.
Hello. I'd like to give you a word of advice, young hobbit. Oh? There are some dangerous folks about tonight. I hope you stay safe. I'm sure I will. So do I. Enjoy your stay. Good evening to you. Pleased to meet you. My name is Underhill. Is this your first time in an inn, Mr. Underhill? No, that is to say, it's my first time in this inn. <laughs> I see. Well, if you're planning on staying here, you should check with the innkeep. Wait too long and you'll be sleeping in the stables. Right. Thank you for the advice. Hello there. Nolly, at your service. Pleased to meet you. My name is Underhill. And how do you find Bree, Underhill? Is it to your liking? It is pleasant enough. Though it isn't the Shire, or the Kingdom Under the Mountain, I'll wager. You know of Erebor? How I miss my distant home. Soon I shall return there. Once my business in the West reaches its conclusion, I will be glad to be among my folk again. Good fortune to you, Nolly. And to you, good Underhill. May your Shire be ever green and fair. I don't like you hobbits much. Go away. We should have come here long ago. Good food and excellent drink. Don't get too comfortable. Things could change. I'll worry about that when the time comes. Until then, I shall rest my weary feet and enjoy the local hospitality. I still don't like the look of this place. We'll be gone soon enough, Sam. Don't worry. That is my worry if you follow me, sir. We'll be gone. Gone for good. I'd like to... Half a minute, if you please. Nob, where are you? With customers. Step lively. Now then, good evening, little master. Balaman Butterbur at your service. What may you be wanting? Room for four, please. You're from the Shire, from the Sandia. We don't get many from the Shire nowadays. Shire. Now, what does that remind me of? Might I ask your name? Mr. Underhill. I'm run off my feet with all these travellers tonight. There's a crowd in the house tonight as there hasn't been in long years. Lucky you're a hobbit. That's the only kind of room we have left. Here's your key then. Nob! Nob, you woolly-footed slow coach! Where are you? Here, sir. Here I am. Where's Bob? Find him double sharp. He's got some ponies to stable straight away. I'll get right on it, sir. You'll excuse me, sir, but I've a party of dwarves to tend to and all these strangers coming up the greenway from the south. Busy days, these. It was the best party ever. Fireworks that only a wizard could make. <laughs> oh, Bilbo starts a long, boring speech. But he has a trick up his sleeve. <laughs> or in his pocket. Mr. Underhill, I'd ever. stop your friend from Fireworks talking if I were you. <laughs> so Bilbo says to the 144 hobbits at the party, you are one gross of hobbits. <laughs> Everyone's so offended, they don't see his hand go into his pocket. You'd better do something quick. People of Bree, thank you for your gracious reception. <laughs> Let's have a song. And wait, 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 I'm getting to the good part. Very well then, a song. There is an inn, a merry old inn, beneath an old grey hill. And there they make a stew so brown that the man in the moon himself flew down at night to eat his fill. Uh, uh, oh. Where did he go? Sorcery! Bah! Conjurer's trick, that's all. <laughs> right, and a fine trick it was. What you did was worse than anything your friend could have said. It was an accident. I want the word with you somewhere quiet. Hello. Who are you? And uh, what do you want? I am called Strider. 
And if what I say is helpful to you, I want you to take me with you. I would not agree to any such thing until I knew a lot more about you. Excellent. You seem to be coming to your senses again after your accident. Begging your pardon, I need a word. Everyone in this place needs a word. I remembered what it was I forgot. What? About a shire hobbit named Baggins, but called Underhill. Who told you this? Gandalf the wizard. He asked me to send this letter to you in the Shire, but I forgot. I expect he'll turn me into a block of wood. Dear Frodo, bad news. You must leave for Rivendell before the end of July. Do not wait for your birthday. I will meet you if I can, or follow you if I can't. You can trust the ranger called Strider, but make sure he's the real Strider. His true name is Aragorn. I am Aragorn. Son of Arathorn, and if by life or death I can save you, I will. I thought I would have to persuade you without proof, but my looks are against me. I believed you, or I wanted to. The enemy spies look fair but feel foul, while you feel fair... But look foul? <laughs> Hold on. Where's Mary? He's still not back from his walk. Stay here. I'll find him. What do you want, Longshanks? None of your concern, horse thief. What? You gonna call me a horse thief? I already have. Now be gone. You've stuck your nose in the wrong place. I've seen you talking to the Shire Rats. You want the reward for Baggins all to yourself. But you won't get it. There you are, Mary. Who are you? They call me Strider. I am a friend of Gandalf. Very well, friend. What should we do now? Return to the inn and find your friends. Tell Butterbur to lodge you in my quarters. What about you? I think it's time to throw these enemies off the scent. Beg your pardon? I'm going to collect some items to make decoys of you hobbits. You'll see. You must come with me. I'll see you safely back to the inn. I do appreciate it. These streets have suddenly become rather unfriendly. Come along. Ah! <laughs> 
are you doing out here? That's my business. It's my business now. You'll beg to tell me after my friends work you over. Decoys convincing arms and legs in the dark. I doubt the gatekeeper will miss them. will make my decoys more convincing. Talk, you little mouse. Talk or I'll make you squeak. I don't know, no baggins. I swear it. Little mousey's about to get his airy foot in a rat trap. Bold words for a filthy orc son of Mordor. Ah, I'll make you squeak too, wanderer. little decoys. I owe you my life, mister. Those men from the south, they were out to kill me. Find safer quarters. 
There may be more of those men about. Right you are, sir. Them dirty horse stalls can wait. Melons will make fine substitutes for hobbit heads. They will break convincingly in the dark. Say, this has been... I can barely keep my eyes open. Black Riders, I hope this plan works. You should sleep, all of you. I'll keep watch in the night. We leave at dawn. Where will we go? Toward Rivendell. But not by the main road. Ah, I should have known. More shortcuts and long delays. The last time we tried that, we were almost eaten by a tree. My shortcuts don't go wrong. Early the next morning, I led the four hobbits safely out of Bree and into the troll-haunted wilderness beyond. We approached the hill that the elves call Amon Sul and that men call Weathertop. Strider, what's that light? I'm not certain. It's too distant to make out. But it appears to be coming from Weathertop. It's like lightning. We'll know more once we reach Weathertop. We need to reach Weathertop's summit quickly. If Gandalf is following, he'll go there to look for us. We might find Gandalf there. The hope is faint. And he's even less likely to find us on the paths I take through the wilderness. Perhaps the Black Riders won't find us in the wilderness either. Frodo, Samwise, come with me. Lead the way, Aragorn.
tower looked different from the last time I was here, as if a great struggle took place within them. Look at this cairnstone. There are runes on it. It appears to be a G and a 3. G for Gandalf. And the 3 might mean a date. October 3rd was not long ago. Gandalf was here. If he was, he left in a hurry. Perhaps he ran into trolls. Or worse. Down there, on the Great East Road. Dark Riders! <laughs> Merry and Pippin are down there. Back to the camp, quickly!
Frodo's wounded. I must protect him. I'll go ahead and clear the way of trolls. Stay out of harm's way, and stay close to Frodo. I'll follow the best I can. We'll take care of him. Don't you worry about that.
Rider approaches. So I see. I Navedui Dunadan. An elf! My Govan and Melon. What did he just say? Well met, friend. Or at least I think so. This is Glorfindel, of the House of Elrond, in Rivendell. Hail, and well met at last! We were told to look for you by Gandalf. No. Elrond received news of you from elves traveling near the Shire. As soon as he learned things were amiss, he sent out riders in all directions. Here. Frodo has a Morgul wound. He must get to Rivendell. Then he shall ride my horse, Asphaloth. His pace is smooth, and he'll let no rider fall from his back. Fly! The enemy is upon us! Fly to the ford! Ride on! Norolim! Norolim, Asphaloth!